I always feel bad for my kids. I always felt bad when they were young because it, being the children of a motivational speaker must be really awful some days, right? When they were teenagers, they would say like, you know, mom, I'm not paying for that speech. <laughs> Here's the good test for any true Canadian. What's the name of the voice that comes on from Bell Canada when you've been talking there too long? Emily. <laughs> so he'd say, so Rhonda, what three good things happened to you today? And I'd say, I had really good hair today. And I'd say, so Warren, what good things happened to you today? And he goes, you didn't burn dinner? <laughs> You know, there's no reason to believe we have to take life seriously. Why do we take life so seriously? Why not just have a good time? Can money buy you happiness? Absolutely it can. <laughs> if you think money can't buy you happiness, you give me your money and I promise I'll be happy with it. My real goal was to be Mrs. John Bon Jovi. <laughs> you are 100% responsible for your own attitude. You're 100% responsible for the car that you're driving. You can allow someone to ruin your day if you give them permission. And I said, wow, awesome, Christopher, could you tell your face you're having a good time? You know how some parents have a bumper sticker on the back of their car that said, my daughter's an honor rule student? My parents had a bumper sticker that said, my daughter goes to class, usually. <laughs> I put pantyhose on today. Do you know how much that hurt me? <laughs> Now, when you go home after the conference and the person you live with says, so what's the best thing you learned at this conference? I want you to smile and look at them and said, that girl on Friday morning, she told me I should fake it. <laughs> now, half of you are sitting there going, I learned that years ago.